Alright, in this video we're going to look at uh, some uh, numerical examples of uh, constraint or applied optimization. Um, we strongly recommend that you uh, should have watched uh, our part one of uh, this series, uh, constraint optimization. And also we strongly recommend that you should have gone through our series of videos on curve sketching because those ones lay the theoretical foundation of uh, what we're going to do here this is just an application of that now so in the first example number one the objective function is uh, f equals to x y and this is the function we want to maximize we want to maximize this function subject to the condition that uh, x and y must uh, uh, satisfy this equation of a straight line here now in our part one we mentioned the first step we're going to do is to take the constraint uh, constraint equation uh, which is this one here and we're going to plug it into the objective function so that we make it uh, an equation in only one variable because as you can see right now it depends on both x and y so if we make y the subject of the formula and the constraint then of course y is equal to uh, 120 minus 2x so that means this we can now write uh, as x into 120 minus 2x so this is now 120x minus 2x squared then the next step is uh, to find the stationary points so for us to do that we need to first find the derivatives of f the first order derivative is 120 minus 4x the second order derivative is negative 4. So for the stationary points, we take the first order derivative equated to 0 and then solve. So in this case, it's going to be 120 over 4. So this is giving us x is equal to uh, 30. Now, the question is, is this going to give us a maximum value of f or not? Now, from the second order derivative, we see that the second order derivative is a constant. It's negative. So this is telling us that uh, the graph of our f is always going to be concave down. So therefore, this point can only be a maximum so that means it is actually going to maximize our f so we can go ahead and find y and uh, from this equation here we're going to find that y is equal to 60 so we're going to have uh, so we've got x is 30 y is equal to 60 and then the maximum value of f, which of course is what we're looking for, is just going to be uh, 60 times 30. So it's going to be 1,800. Okay, so that brings us to the end of uh, that example. Then we're going to go to number two. Uh, in number two, the objective function is uh, x squared times y uh, this time we are minimizing so we've got x squared times y we want to minimize this subject to the condition that x and y again must lie on this straight line so but this time we're looking for the minimum so as usual, we make uh, y the subject of the formula. We're choosing y because y is not squared here. Um, so y is going to be x minus 
108 and then if we substitute this in our objective function we're going to have x squared into x minus 108 so this is going to be x cubed minus 108 x minus 108 x and so if we find the first and the second order derivative first order derivative is going to be 3x squared minus 108 um, the just one moment uh, this is supposed to be x squared there so the first order derivative is going to be 3x squared minus 216x actually and then the second order derivative is going to be 6x minus 216 and then for our stationary points so we're abbreviating um, we're using sp for stationary points we take the first order derivative we equate it to zero take the first order derivative we equate it to zero so if we do this uh, 3x is common here so this is going to be x minus 72 so this tells us that either x is 0 or x is 72 then what we need to do is to check uh, which of these is giving us a minimum and to do that we plug them into the second order derivative here when we plug in 0 this is going to give us negative 216 so negative 216 means that the graph is concave down at uh, x equals to 0 so that is giving us a relative or a, ma a local maximum remember this time we are looking for the value that minimizes f then if we plug in 72 the second order derivative is going to be 6 times 72 minus 216 plug that in the calculator 6 times 72 minus 216 that gives us positive 216 so that means this time we have got uh, the graph is concave up so that is the one that gives us a minimum so then we go back and find the value of y from this equation and we find that y is equal to negative 36 so the minimum uh, that uh, this function is going to be is going to happen when x is 72 and y is negative 36 and so this is going to be uh, negative 186,620 four okay um then uh, one more example um all right uh, actually we're going to conclude uh, this video here i uh, will finish the other three in the next uh, video uh so yeah thanks for watching yes please do we encourage you to subscribe um and uh, like the video. Thank you.